Oh, hey, buddy. It's day 58. Let's go take a look at some Super Nintendo games. Awesome. Let's take a wee gander at what's going on. Here, we got another copy of Mario World in. 96 levels of amazing. Uh, another copy of Nolan Ryan's Baseball. Uh, whoa. Super Pinball Behind the Mask. Pinball's amazing. Uh, my grandfather recently gave me a 1967's uh, pinball machine. It's mm, malfunctioning. So yeah, I'll be working on that shortly. Fingers crossed, I get her to light up again. And copy of Hook, this time for the Super Nintendo. And a beat up copy of Doom for the SNES. This one's a Super FX game, so it comes in all the dimensions, all three of them. It boasts 22 levels from the original PC version. It's got no textures on the floors and ceilings, and bad guys only face one direction. Also, it comes in at a hot 256 by 224 resolution. Wow, wow, so hot. We also got a copy of Top Gear 2. Another copy of Aladdin, seriously sweet, uh, NBA Jam TE. This game's the best. It has like a billion cheat codes. You can be like a billion special characters. You can totally have a team that's Fresh Prince and Jazzy Jeff. You can totally be Ad Rock, MCA, or Mike D. You can also be Bill or Hillary Clinton. Like what? Oh, uh, there's also Prince Charles? Boom, shakalaka. Bassin's Black Bass for Super Nintendo this time by Hotbeat. And a copy of Inspector Gadget for the Super Nintendo. Do y'all remember the Ferris Bueller version of this that came out? The like the live action Inspector Gadget with Matthew Broderick? Like, what's up with that? I, th I think we all know Penny's the real detective. Gadget's dumb as nails. Awesome, thank you guys so much for checking these out. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And like, yo, in the comments below, what's your favorite Matthew Broderick movie? I've only seen Godzilla, Inspector Gadget, and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Are there any more? Well, let me know. Oh, Cable Guy, he's totally in Cable Guy. Actually, like that movie a lot. Matthew Bueller, Ferris Broderick?